Born baby is fighting all odds after being born with a rare genetic disorder. And now the Sullivan community is rallying behind the child's family with hopes that she will continue to improve. Taylor Johnson met with the family of baby Annika Morse, and she joins us with how such a small child is making big progress. We were talking about this earlier. You love the name, yes. and obviously there's yes, more to love than just the name with this little girl. Yes, her story yeah. is so powerful. So today I met with Annika's grandmother and a close family friend of her mm -hmm. mother, and they tell me that Annika was born with a hole in her heart, mm -hmm. among other serious issues. Yeah. And after predictions that she would not make it past a week, her family says the one-month-old is growing stronger each day in a powerful fight for her life. I just think she's a fighter, and... I think God has big plans for her, and she's going to surpass all of us. The family of one-month-old Annika Morris says there's one sound they're hoping to hear. Once she was born, she was premature, and they had to immediately put a vent in, so the parents haven't got to hear her cry. Annika was born two months early with a rare genetic disorder, mosaic trisomy 13. Instead of being born with two sets of chromosomes, some of her cells have three sets of chromosomes in them. Which can require open heart surgery. They weren't sure they were even going to do the heart surgery because babies with T13 either um, die on the table or they never wake up from the procedure. Doctors told Annika's family most babies with the disorder don't survive past a week, but she's become a very special case. The week that she was supposed to do surgery, she was having trouble with her oxygen and all that and they put it off for the following week and the doctor come back in and he said I can't explain it her said he said her aortic valve has opened itself back up and he said as long as I've been a doctor I have never seen that happen without surgical intervention and her family says they know why and we firmly believe that there was a higher up that opened up that artery now the Sullivan community is putting on a spaghetti dinner to support baby Annika. So everybody is just pulling together to make this a really great benefit to help benefit the family and to help Annika. And her family hopes to hear her voice very soon. We fully believe that in God's power and in her strength that she will prosper and she will have a great testimony to share with everybody as she grows. The Pasta with a Purpose Benefit and Silent Auction for Annika will be held this Saturday at the Sullivan County Fairgrounds beginning at 5 p.m. All proceeds will cover baby Annika's medical costs. That one, uh, toward the end there, there was a, a phone video. Was yes. that actual live video or was... Well, it was, yes. so they showed her. So actually, um, Annika's grandmother shared with me that that vent that she had mentioned mm -hmm. in the story, they had taken it out just yesterday, mm -hmm. and they were able to hear some sounds from Annika, so they're That's hoping so very soon that they can actually hear her cry. Yeah, well, how's her progress coming along? She's coming along very well. She's getting stronger and stronger each day. Yeah, good. All yes. right, best in our prayers out to them. Absolutely. All right, thank, thank you, Taylor. You.